Robert Frost's poem Mowing appeared in his first volume, A Boy's Will, a collection of 30 poems published in London in 1913 and in the United States in 1915. Despite its 14 lines and an alternating rhyme scheme, Mowing is a pretty unconventional sonnet. Mowing seems to suffer from a strange incoherence, almost a kind of wildness. But Mowing has an ABCA, BDEC, DFEG rhyme scheme that's just plain different. Just as the rhyme schemes aren't doing much work, by the third line, the meter is disrupted as well. The march of iams has been interrupted. Lines three and four contain spondees, which are two side-by-side -side accented syllables. For example, the line, what was it, it whispered, has a repetition of it, a pronoun that's representationally a marker for something unnamed or unnameable. And in the line that follows, Frost uses something, another spondee. And then in line five, the speaker's confusion, metrically established in the poem's opening, yields to a search for meaning. From amidst the poetic chaos, a lyric content emerges, a scythe that whispers and a speaker who sensitively wonders if the whisper is a choice to respect the perfect quiet in the field. Yet the truth, although present, is not easy to grasp. This poem about labor is hard work. Syntax has gone wild, even producing in lines 10 through 12 the parenthetical pale orcases. An orcus is a particular genus of orchid. The lines also present a frightened bright green snake. Now what or who scared the snake? It turns out to be the earnest love that also plowed the field. Again, it is the pastoral language and the narrative content that ultimately produce meaning. The farmhand's work is like the work of the poet, who is the maker of the pasture and the poetic field. An incoherent form produces a coherent form, an order neat as the poems swale in rows, mode stretches that are like lines of print, and the reader's labor is to complete the process.